Welcome to another edition of Our Agenda for Survival. I'm Sunita Narayan. This time I want to talk about food. I want to talk about the food that we eat, thinking that it is safe, that it is certainly not got genetically modified organisms in it. Many of you may have seen CSC, the Center for Science and Environment, where I work. Uh, we have set up a laboratory um, for testing of food and for testing contamination in our environment. We strongly believe that we need to make sure that our food is not first contaminated with chemicals which compromise our health and then we have to do something to clean it up and to eat organic. That's the basic principle with which we have been operating. This is why we tested for pesticides in soft drinks, in bottled water. We tested for pesticides in the blood of farmers in Punjab. Our focus and our effort then was to regulate the amount of pesticides uh, that is there in our food uh, to define what is safe food, uh, to get government, to get serious about the contamination uh, or the health impacts of toxins like pesticides. We then tested for antibiotics in honey and you will be surprised to know we found antibiotics in honey that we eat and that is because as we have chemicalized our, um, our food, um, we are actually feeding antibiotics to bees so that as a growth promoter. This was then confirmed again when we tested for the same antibiotics in poultry industry. Today we are working very hard to ensure that there are strict regulations for antibiotics in food because antibiotic resistance is a pandemic, a health pandemic in the world. But why am I giving you this background? I'm explaining this to you because we have a new study today. The Center for Science and Environments Laboratory has just put out research on a study on genetically modified organisms in processed food. In this study, our laboratory collected samples, 65 samples from Delhi, Punjab and our neighboring areas. And these were processed foods. And our aim was to check if these samples had GM in them. The methodology we used is universally understood. It is a screening methodology to try and find the markers for GM in food. The results are worrying. Of the 65 samples that we tested, 32%, as much as 32%, had presence of GM. So they were GM positive food. 80% of these samples were imported food. We found GM in food like infant food. And this food that we particularly tested for and that should really make, should worry us, is food that parents would be buying for children with special food needs where doctors have advised them either because your child is lactose intolerant or doctors have said because there is a possibility of allergy that you buy this particular food. This food that we tested is being marketed by no less than the largest, one of the largest US majors, Abbott uh, Laboratories. Parents buy it. There is no information on the food that it has GM. And remember, if your child has a possibility of allergies, the one thing that particularly concerns us in terms of the safety of GM food is about um, that it could cause allergies. It, this is because we know that GM is really about when a DNA or one um, organism is inserted into another. It's a foreign material. Now, across the world, it is also true that the jury is still out on the safety of GM. That some people believe that GM food is safe. 
Some others feel that GM is not safe because of its long-term implications, its risks that could be unintended. In my view, the most important thing is our choice, is our right to know. The fact is, the government of India says today that no GM is allowed into, no GM food is allowed in India. The only crop that we allow to grow is cotton. And this is why also, please remember that we have found GM in the cotton seed oil that we bought in the market. All samples of cotton seed oil had GM. And remember and note and worry that nobody has cleared cotton seed, seed oil for human consumption. So yes, the government has cleared the cultivation of Bt cotton and wide scale Bt cotton is grown in India by farmers. But nobody has cleared the use of cotton seed oil for your cooking. But government has cleared the use of cotton seed oil for use in Vanaspati. So it can be mixed in other oil and used. So let's be once again clear, it is about your right to know. It is also about us demanding accountability from our government. The fact is, Every law in this country, from the Environment Protection Act, to the Food Safety and Standards Act, to the Foreign Trade Act, all prohibit the sale of genetically modified food in this country without the explicit approval of government. In fact, government says that there is no such food being sold in the country. But that's the hypocrisy. We enact a law. All of us are told, you're safe, don't worry. But the fact is, there is huge amount of GM food being sold, being imported without our knowledge, without companies declaring it on their label. The worst is that we have found major, big, big food companies mislabeling telling you that this food is GM free, but yet when we have tested, we have found GM in it. So the question is, will government act? Will we take the necessary steps so that we regulate GM in our food with stringent standards, tighten the standards? The government today has proposed a law which is so weak that I don't even want to talk about it. We need a stringent limit for what is called GM-free food. And we need government to act against companies which have been selling this food illegally to us. The final irony is, and I really cannot resist not saying this, the same Food Safety and Standards Authority, FSSAI, has come up with a notification on organic food. It says that organic food has to certify itself and to say that it is safe. But as far as GM food is concerned, its notification, its draft notification says, literally says that companies could self-declare. And it sets a limit which is so high that it basically is meaningless. So the question is, in whose interest is food policy and regulation being made. And it is, it is something that should concern us because remember, this is about our food. It is about our stomach. It is about the health of our children. So please, let's understand the food that we are eating. Let's understand what is being brought in the name of processed food to us. Let's Make sure that our right to good food is not negotiable. But most importantly, demand your right to know. Demand the fact that it is about our food and our food is our business. It is not about business, but it is our business. I hope this study, this will 
will help you to understand and I look forward to your comments on this.